Hi guys. Um, I'm coming at you live from a cornfield in Canada. I'm not gonna say where, but you can guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just taking a long walk and found this field and uh, it's just so beautiful. Look at this. I don't think too many people take the time to appreciate how pretty nature is. Because of things like the media, um, they're constantly showing us negative things, right? People that have died that day, something horrible that's happened in nature. I don't know, some celebrity disaster, whatever. We're constantly being shown negative things that we forget to slow down and appreciate things like this. Things like just being able to stand um, in a huge, beautiful field, right? And I don't think it's childish or immature to appreciate something like this. This is literally the beauty of nature. I know it's easy to get caught up in other things, but when you start becoming more in tune with yourself, um, you are going to notice that you feel a shift. And when you become more in tune with yourself, you start being drawn to nature more. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is, we are nature. Our essence is nature. We have a connection to nature, and we always will. And even though society often strays from that connection really far sometimes, um, we're still going to have that connection and it just makes things hard when we don't have a good relationship with nature. It's going to show, right? There will be natural disasters. Um, sometimes like fields like this just sort of are going unused because when we are treating nature badly, nature is going to be pretty unhappy. And since nature is so connected to us, that's going to make us pretty unhappy too but we might not notice that connection right away. So the point I'm getting at here is we need to treat nature well and we need to appreciate nature more because this field, if you treat this field well and you take care of it, it's gonna end up giving you food, right? If you look in the trees far enough, you're gonna find a place that could be a good shelter. So nature really is gonna give you everything that you need the trick is to realize that nature is such a good resource and so many people act like we need to buy the next thing or manufacture the next big thing, but nature has always been that thing. It makes me sad sometimes to see people that are so disconnected with nature. Like what happened? How did we get this way? I know it's tough. And it doesn't happen all at once. Like this takes years and years to happen. And because the disconnection with nature can happen so slowly, a lot of people don't even realize how disconnected they are. So it's a good time to sort of take a pause and ask yourself, are you connected with nature? And this is important. Nature is a part of you. You need to feel sunshine on your skin. You need to be in water sometimes. You need to drink water. You need to eat fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts from nature. It's so important. And if you fill your body constantly with things that are just chemicals and whatever, not food. <laughs> if you're filling your body with that all of the time, think about what you're doing right you're filling a natural system with unnatural things that's gonna cause some sort of harm and i don't know it's hard i know it's tough because consumerism makes it so easy to go out and just buy something instead of cook it or grow it and we're not always going to be perfect but luckily the goal is not perfection the goal is just to find balance so even though it is really, really tough to completely immerse yourself in nature these days, do yourself a favor and try to find a balance between being outside and enjoying nature 
and working all the time or just staying indoors because I promise you, nature loves you. You just need to try and love it back. <laughs> so what are your favorite types of natural places to go? Um, for me, I love being by the ocean. I just love swimming and I love the waves and laying in the sun. But I also love like being in big forests surrounded by huge trees and just going on long, long hikes. So those are two of my favorite types of ways to explore nature. What are some of your favorite ways to explore nature? Let me know. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this. Bye guys.